Hi, I'm Brenda Walton. In my family, the holidays are all about handmade gifts and festive decorating. My dies for Sizzix make it easy for the crafters in your family to create something really wonderful and to celebrate every day of the year. The stocking gift holder is just adorable. It's about five inches tall and it's the perfect size to hold little treats or a gift card. And you can cut it out of so many different materials because it's a big die. For this stocking, for instance, I cut it out completely out of felt. And uh, included it with the die are these little flowers that I've dimensionalized. I've cut out all of the pieces of the die so that you can see them. There are seven total. The stocking, the cuff, the heel and toe, a little medallion, you'll, you'll need two of those pieces, and a little round embellishment that goes on top of the medallion. The tools you'll need for the stocking are pop dots, quick dry glue, a cardstock circle, mini binder clips, and a bone folder. To get started assembling the stocking, the first thing we'll do is assemble the medallion. Just fold along all of the score lines back and forth the way you would with a normal medallion. And then when you get to the end, attach that piece to the second medallion strip that has also been folded. I like to use quick dry glue or hot glue for this. Either one works fine. Attach the ends together, and then attach the other two ends together until you have a circle. Let that dry completely. And now take the medallion and kind of smoosh it down so it's flat, and then apply some hot glue to the little circle that you've made. And then you'll move the medallion right to the center of that circle and that will hold the medallion in place very securely. When that's dry, put a little hot glue on the back of your little embellishment piece that's included with the die, and then center that right on the medallion. And then set that aside. And now to assemble the stocking, Start by applying the toe piece and the heel piece to the front of the stocking. The front of the stocking is the piece that has the tabs on it. Just apply a thin layer of quick dry glue to each of these pieces and put them in position. When that glue is completely dry, pick up the stocking and fold the tabs back. Then turn the front of the stocking over to the reverse side and kind of put the tabs out so that you can glue them. And then place the back of the stocking onto it and then press those glued tabs right onto it. You can press them down with your bone folder if that's easier. And that looks great. Now for the cuff piece, fold in the tabs on the cuff and then fold it closed. And you can see there's a little tab piece that's sticking out on the left hand side and that's going to go on the right side of the stocking. So insert the little tabs into the inside of the stocking, glue the side tab closed and you can hold that while it dries with a little binder clip. That works really well. And when that is dry, after a couple of minutes, open up the stocking and lift those tabs inside and then apply a thin layer of glue to those. You just need a little bit and this will hold that cuff securely in place. 
and you can dry that with the binder clips also. And when that cuff is dry, then you can put a couple of pop dots on your embellishment, your little medallion. And that makes a nice little decorative touch and it's a great place to put an initial. On this one, it's a sweet little stocking for a two-year-old and I'm going to put his initial G on this one. That looks great!